YouTube, welcome to the next video in my series where I'm building a home garden stroke music room. Sorry it's been a few months since the last video, but thanks everyone for being very patient. So let's get on with it then. In this video I'm working on the internal ventilation, which is one of the last steps I need to do before I can start working on the plasterboard and actually making this room feel like an actual room inside. As we're using various techniques to reduce the amount of noise that can escape from the room, one of the things we're doing is trying to seal up any air gaps. So this does mean that ultimately the room will be very airtight and if I was in there long enough would in theory run out of oxygen. So it's really important that we've got some kind of ventilation so I can breathe. One of my initial concerns, of course, is by installing a ventilation system, you're going to be putting some large holes in the side of the wall, which is going to potentially ruin any of the sound proofing efforts that we've used in the rest of the build. So in order to minimize any sound leakage through the ventilation system, I'm building something here called a sound maze. The idea is that as air comes through, the waves from the sound bounce across the different dividers inside the wall and absorb some of this sound and diffract the sound so that eventually when the air gets through the box to the other side there's very minimal sound actually traveling outside externally. So far you've seen me building the main carcass of the box using some leftover OSB. The box is designed to sit in between the ceiling joists and will have UPVC ducting at either end. I found from Screwfix some flat ducting with adapters to the standard round ducting. So this has been really useful given the limitation on space that I have. Here I'm cutting through the OSB where the vent will meet the outside. You can see through the gap here the internal cavity and the wood cladding at the other side. Later I will cut through this and install an exterior vent cover. I found that the air brick outlets had quite large gaps in them, so I decided to line it with some of the leftover vent mesh which I used at the bottom of the cladding to help stop any large bugs and flies from getting inside the ventilation system. The next thing I'm doing to build up some layers of sound deadening and in fact help prevent against any sound entering the box itself through the ceiling is to add a layer of soundproof plasterboard. If sound can actually make its way through into the vent system other than through the opening itself then the effectiveness of the overall system will be pretty poor. Um, this is no by means a perfect solution or system but it should definitely help reduce any impact of this. I'm also adding plasterboard strips to the internal wall dividers. The idea is that this makes it difficult for sound to pass straight through and it forces the sound to navigate through the maze. Each time a sound wave hits a surface it's going to dissipate the sound slightly so that by the end of the maze the sound heard should be minimal. Here I use some silicone to seal up the air gap between the box and the cutout and then I'm also using some expanding foam to help insulate around the gaps where I can't fit any wall insulation in itself. Here I'm now fixing the plasterboard into the box itself and I'm using a layer of green glue to help stick the 
plasterboard in place, um, but also provides some additional sound deadening properties. We're going to talk a bit more about green glue in the next video where we plasterboard the walls. I'm using more acoustic sealant to go around all of the joints inside to create an airtight box. Again, we don't want air leaking out of the system, nor do we want any air leaking into the system for it to be effective. Finally, I'm adding some soft foam to line the interior of the box. This will provide some softness so that the sound is not bouncing off hard surfaces and also help with the sound absorption in the box. Now that the boxes are ready, I've situated the vent openings in place and just measuring up the vent ducting and cutting it to size. I'm using acoustic sealant in every joint and in the joint between the UPVC and the box to ensure that there's no air gaps and that we have a fully air sealed system. You'll notice I've been installing two vents. This is so I can build an active ventilation system. What this means is that I'll have one vent that is straight through to the outside and I'll have a second vent which will have an extractor fan connected to it. This means that the extractor vent will push air out and the straight through vent will draw air in. And there we have the installed vents and we're now ready to start with the plasterboarding. Once this is done, I will connect up the extractor fan and the vent outlets and we'll have a fully functioning vent system. So until then, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.